hey guys okay so um i just wanted to say that in this vlog i'm gonna do a what in i what in i i'm gonna do a what i ate in a day video this is not to say that this is the diet or lifestyle you should be living yourself this is just what is working for me for now because i've got ulcerative colitis and it's just helping me get back to a normal way of living and hopefully gonna help me get off the medicines soon so yeah i just thought i would let you know that this is in, in no way or in no shape or in my neighbor was looking and i didn't know if they were looking at me vlogging but basically i'm not telling you what to eat i'm just telling you what is working for me with my condition of ulcerative colitis and also my polycystic ovary syndrome it's helping reduce symptoms i'm losing unwanted weight which is good i've always had a battle with staying in a good space with my weight and things um and i just feel better i can yeah i'm just not getting as many flares and problems i would have with my ulcerative colitis yeah in general i just feel better you know my mum and dad and my boyfriend would be saying your skin color looks better from when you were not feeling as well and everything like that so i'm not telling you what to eat yourself um i'm just showing you what i i am eating in this one day and consider that also remember that this one day is not what i eat every day you know so don't think i eat exactly this every day this is just what i happen to eat this day according to what my diet tree thing has been well i don't call it a diet it's now a lifestyle change this is just how i'm gonna live the rest of my life and then if i want to treat myself here and there with some carbs or sugar refined sugars then i'll be more i'll be very conscious of when i do so so maybe on my birthday or at christmas i'll treat myself but then i'll get back on the lifestyle plan of um eat burn sleep and yeah it's just a way of me keeping my gut health as good as possible and keeping me feel good and make my quality of life much better so yeah i just thought i'd add that in because i did some i i'm doing the what i eat clips of my meals for today on my phone because it's just easier because you know i find it hard to remember to pick up this camera and vlog whereas i have my phone with me all the time so i'm sorry if the clips aren't as quality and their iphone quality um it's just it just allows me to actually achieve this video without forgetting because i have my phone with me when i get food in the kitchen so yeah um but yeah it's just the afternoon now i'm still debating whether i should bake something i put a recipe on my instagram uh last week last thursday i made these coconut and orange cookies that were meant to be with um with almond flour um and no eggs were needed so that was really good so and i use no dairy so they must be they're gluten-free grain-free dairy free and they might be oh no they're not vegan because they're vegetarian but they're not vegan because i used honey but if you use coconut sugar then they're vegan so it's pretty good so if you want to check out that recipe i shared it on my instagram stories it's saved in my in one of my instagram stories um called the at, ho at home instagram so story i saved so you can check it there on my instagram my instagram is lillian eve with an extra e at the end um so are many other of my social media platforms if not all of them um and yeah i hope this is in any way helpful to you or just interesting to watch um and yeah i'll just let you finish off seeing what i have for today okay guys so for breakfast today i'll be having some serrano which is like a spanish prosciutto some dairy-free e epic mature cheddar cheese avocado pineapple and then just some two eggs two fried eggs so that will be my breakfast other than the pineapple it's low sugar it's all anti-inflammatory 
it's kind of keto slash paleo but you're allowed fruit sugars so yeah that's my breakfast so that's just with the eggs added i just added some paprika on the eggs and oregano um and yeah now i can dive in um i just wanted to add a clip it's like nearly midnight on a Saturday, but I just wanted to um, add a clip. Yeah, there is a duvet behind me because um, we haven't got my curtains up yet, so we are dealing with that. But I just wanted to add a clip and tell you about my health journey recently and how I've been helping my chronic condition um, basically, I came across this woman in London called Yal Yalda and I'd been, before I came across her, I was doing loads of research on how I can help my ulcerative colitis because, you know, I've had two blood transfusions this year, not ideal, I just want to kind of solve the problem even though the doctors and stuff claim there's no actual solution, yet I'm on a lot of medicines considering so it's kind of crazy like i want to just figure out a lifestyle where i don't have to have medicine every day because the medicines don't cure it so you know what's the point of that that doesn't really make sense to me um i don't feel like it's good for me to be having that stuff when it's not actually a curable medicine but anyways oh god the battery is flashing okay so i found this lady and she has a whole program <clears throat> called eat burn sleep and she had ulcerative colitis over 12 years ago or oh, she still has it because it's a chronic condition but she has found a way of dealing with it getting off all the medicines nev never having her colon removed which is such a key factor in what i'm looking for like I, I'm happy to have success stories. I'm happy to follow anyone's success story that means you don't have to have your colon removed because, I mean, I have a fear just walking in a hospital, let alone having a colon remo removed. So it's been my, you know, it's been a journey. I've been researching a lot and we've luckily stumbled across this wonderful lady who's actually half Moroccan and half Iranian. So I'm half Iranian. And I feel like it was meant to be. I feel like I was meant to come across her. She's a Libra, I'm a Libra. And it was just like a miracle, really. But, so I've joined her plan. And you pay for like a yearly membership. And then after that, it's like £8 a month to like follow all her information on her website, have access to everything. She has a complete anti-inflammatory lifestyle plan that is like cutting out all carbs and sugar because the culprit of the problem is partially to do with your gut health and getting the microbiome back to a solid healthy balance between the bad and good the good and bad bacteria so yeah i've been following her plan with my mum because my mum's happy to hop on the bandwagon dexter wanted to but we just said you know what you're gonna have to join my dad and eat all the potatoes because we had so many potatoes in the house because we were like then not eating any potato because even though potatoes are vegetable it's a starchy carby vegetable so you're not allowed that so i'm you know i can have sweet potato which i haven't had yet but i've been having a lot of butternut squash um and it's just been so you know lovely to have something to believe that i can improve my lifestyle after having this dreadful time with some illness come along and kind of shake your life up a bit because you know last year was not good not a good year for me but now we're on the men's and we're getting better so it's great yeah so and she has like let me just show, show you on the website so this is her website eat burn sleep that sh there she is right there um and this is her it's called the... Is it going to focus? Are you joking? Okay, it's called the Six Week Plan Eat, Burn, Sleep. You right? And um, she... Once you subscribe, you get food lists, you get meal planning, recipes, eating out, exercises, daily must-dos, walk, hydrate and meditate, cravings, 
basically it helps with everything mental wellness because she's just promoting this anti-inflammatory lifestyle that really just is meant to cure being so inflamed and she says it's not just for people with ulcerative colitis like her and I but it's also for Crohn's it's also for diabetes any majority of um problems nowadays or autoimmune diseases are caused by inflammation so her plan works well with a lot of people she she's had a lot of people on the website and join the plan i'm now in a special facebook private facebook group because i joined the plan you get to have access to a private facebook group where you have like a whole community of people that are on the plan and everyone's egging each other on and sharing recipes and it's a really nice space to be involved in and then every monday she gives us a private live on the facebook group with a topic of helping us and giving us more information which is great she answers everyone's questions honestly i couldn't recommend it enough it's like the best investment for your health um and she's had so many success stories she's had doctors go on the plan and they fix things for themselves or even if they didn't have a problem they're saying like you know it's an amazing thing the only reason it's not in medical it's not reckon you know doctors don't tell you about it because they never have proper um what's the word they never have proper uh, what's the word like the pharmaceutical companies and things are the ones that pay for all the medicines they pay for every survey, they pay for all medicines to be surveyed and checked and, you know, like, studied. So doctors go based off of studies. Unfortunately, um, they haven't invested in her study, yeah, in her plan. So if they did, I'm rec I reckon it would eventually be on the healthcare type thing, NHS, whatever, you know. I think eventually in the future that's where it's heading. Her whole anti-inflammatory plan will hopefully reach the doctors and hospitals. Yeah, it's just very inspiring and it's it's nice that she actually, you know, she originally did it to cure herself or to manage her problem, which is the same problem I have, the ulcerative colitis. So as I was saying, um, it's a plan that is tried and tested with many a people, even people with... Um, why is it when I try and say something I forget what I'm talking about? Um, even people with... There was a lady who said a comment last Monday in the live and she said that she had a brain surgery and um, she was having seizures whenever she was on these medicines like after her ba brain surgery and things and she said those her seizures have stopped now thanks to this plan so it just shows that so many things hormone imbalance acne everything like so much can be caused by having carbs and sugar and an in inflammatory lifestyle and she even says that some exercises cause inflammation whereas like yoga is less is not an inflammatory because it's quite a it's easy on your body but it still makes progress and is a good exercise so let me just google her instagram and then i can show you so her instagram is eat burn sleep i'll put it here um and yeah i recommend if you're into your health if you want to give yourself a better you know like really help yourself out if you've got any problems if you've got diabetes if you've got what else let me have a look what does she say special okay so she has specialized advice on the website as well so if you've got ibs celiac problems ibd which is inflammatory bowel disease like i have if you've got psoriasis if you've got pcos like i have if you've got insulin resistance if you've if you want, would like to have weight loss, this is a great plan for you. It's better than keto. There's, um, she does like Instagram story videos, IGTVs as well. So I think in one of her IGTVs, she explains why she doesn't recommend the keto diet. Um, if you've got horm hormonal imbalance, hormonal imbalance if you've got thyro thyroid problems or bowel regularity problems or she has loads of different 
solutions and from this plan and she does recipes um you know i'm making thing i'm baking and i'm making things and normally i don't do that um it's inspired me a lot it's also made me realize that things i'd never think to use to cook with are things i can cook with and they don't have to be carbs or sugar the only sugar we're allowed is a fruit sugar or like honey or coconut sugar and things um but it really helps compared so okay so here is her instagram if you see um, but yeah, I'll link it in the description box below as well. Um, and she just does really great stuff. Very inspiring. Gut health and inflammation expert platform dedicated to gut health. Low inflammation, sustainable weight loss. Online six, pla six week plan. This is quite long, but she says it's an, a six week plan happening she says it's a six week plan but it's not necessarily just a six week plan it's a lifestyle but she she does like this six week plan that you have to follow diligently to help kill your bad bacteria that might have overgrown and given you a bad gut imbalance that has called caused inflammation in your body caused all these problems so she says follow her plan for six weeks gently and then your gut health should have improved by then and then you can just start introducing a few things here and there like it's a lifestyle so if you want to treat yourself one weekend if you want to have a bit of alcohol one weekend you're allowed to but don't do it all the time or if you yeah don't do it all the time that's the thing it's like balance is key like um small amounts of everything is okay but what she says is if you go off track just start the week one of the six week plan again and help reset your body and reset your gut microbiome and make it you know get back into the healthy lifestyle so if you fall off track just get back on track that kind of thing anyways i just thought i'd let you know about this lady because she has gave me a lot of hope you know and um i'm really enjoying I'm so happy I came across her, I'm enjoying the diet, I don't feel deprived, I'm, you know, it's quite good for me because I'm not necessarily good at portion control, so for me it's like you're eating really healthy majority of the time, so you might, you can have a bit more food but then at the same time you don't feel like you need to, so it's somehow helping my portion control as well because I don't feel hungry because the things that make you hungry is all the sugar so yeah i'm really enjoying it and i thought i'd let you guys know um i'll link all her stuff in the description and yeah thanks guys okay now for lunch i'm gonna just make a salad um i've got a few little tomatoes here i can add with um my vegan that's my favorite epic mature vegan cheddar cheese got the half the avocado um and then we have got some turkey sausages in the oven ideally we should be having um meats that aren't processed you know sausages are kind of processed um but for now that is what we've got and that's what i'm having so yeah that will be my lunch and i'll show you in a sec when it's all prepared on my plate so here is my lunch it's just cut up turkey sausages on a bed of salad lettuce romaine lettuce uh, salad um, and then cherry tomatoes um, peeled cut up cucumber with a bit of salt and that's it and that is my lunch and I just um, drizzled some olive oil on top so yeah I'm gonna enjoy that and then that's my lunch and then maybe I'll have a snack in the afternoon I'm planning on maybe baking or I'll just have a piece of fruit in the afternoon which I'll show you and then I'll show you my dinner later side note guys um we've got this aero garden that we bought on Amazon for my dad's father's day present so um, I just thought I'd show you it's really good because you can grow your herbs all year round. It's called Aero Garden. It comes with 
the seeds, the liquid plant food. It tells you when it needs more water, like add water, add plant food. And then you can also adjust this light thing so it goes higher up when the plants start growing up. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that as well. Um, if any of you wanted to get it, oh, there's a fly. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you that as well. If any of you thought you'd like something like this in your kitchen or just inside the house, so you have plants growing, your herbs growing all year round, you can grow it in the winter because there's a special LED light under there that's um, basically acting like the sun. So I thought that was really helpful. And yeah, we're just drying out some avocado seeds there. Um, we've also got some fresh green tomatoes that have come from the garden so far that fell off so we're just sort of leaving those to go red or ripen and then we've got some more avocado stones from us eating avocados that we're just leaving to dry out a bit we planted one here um, and it's growing so hopefully that can turn into an avocado tree and yeah so that's that just thought i'd show you those clips okay so it's now uh 2 59 like nearly 3 p.m um i'm not i'm still not hungry from that salad like i'm you know i'm not even thinking about a snack i think what i probably won't have a snack or if i'm gonna have a snack it will probably be a pear yeah so i'm probably gonna have a pear and then I'll show you dinner. You all know what a pear looks like, right? <laughs> um, just because, you know, do I have to show you a pear? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to have a pear and that should hold me over till dinner. Meanwhile, before dinner, I'm probably going to do some baking. I'm either going to bake some coconut flour cookies or coconut flour muffins. Probably the cookies because I'm not sure if we have eggs at the moment and then the cookies don't need eggs. And then um, we'll have dinner and I'll show you dinner. And then if I do bake, I'll show you what I have that I baked for dessert. But if I don't show you a dessert, then I didn't bake. So yeah, I think I'll close. Well, I'm not closing out the video because I still got to show you what I ate for dinner. And if I have a... Uh, dessert but just remember i'm having a pear to hold me over before dinner um and yeah this is my juicy pear of choice so i'll be enjoying this also just to let you guys know that my drink throughout the day is just water um and if it would be an adventurous it might be lemon lemon and water or it might be lime and water or um decaf tea and coffee but i usually hardly touch that but yeah i can have a decaf tea and coffee but yeah so that's just what it is i thought i'd let you know that because you're probably wondering well what's your drink um and yeah okay thanks this is my dinner it's just a salad with breast chicken and then i've got some small almond flour bread slices and some dairy free dairy free epic mature cheddar cheese and a little bit of mayonnaise so that's my dinner okay so i just made a um coconut flour and chia seed lemon cake it was meant to be muffins but i decided to make it into a cake it's a bit burnt because it was quite liquidy so i had to put it in for a bit longer um so i'll probably have a slice of that for dessert tonight hopefully it tastes nice yeah that's it that's what i ate in a day so i hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it for you guys please like and subscribe um get, help me grow my channel and you know make it better for you and for me um 
I'm trying my best here. I'm new to YouTube, even though it's like near a year now I've been on YouTube, which is crazy because this time has gone so quick. Like, it's so weird that in a few months I'll be able to say I was, I've been on YouTube for a year. It doesn't feel like it, but um, I've enjoyed it. It's kind of like an extra hobby. You know, it, you get your voice out there, you're speaking to whoever wants to watch. Um, yeah, it's just like a new hobby I've got, really. Um, as well as my knitting, like I said, I want to start up a knitwear brand. So when that's more underway, I'll definitely plug that in these videos and show you what I'm working on, show you what I'm going to be selling. Um, and yeah, I wish you all the best day ever. So yeah or as good as it can be in a 2020 year like this but yeah sending all my love and i'm just standing by the window because it's good lighting um and yeah i can you know so now i can see a lot of trees it's a nice fresh breeze because i'm i'm the my bedroom's like in the top of the house so i've i'm like basically in the attic so you know, I get a fresh breeze come up when I look out this window, it's quite nice. Anyways, spend more time outside. Read your books, Lillian, because <laughs> I've always struggled with reading. Um, and yeah, enjoy yourselves, guys. Live your life. And I, I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching. Bye.